178 kilometers from Kenya's capital Nairobi, East Kitui County, bubbling with life after the August 9th 2022 election, the re-election of Dr. Julius Malombe has brought to life the Kitui promise. Ambitious 16 point manifesto, Dr. Malombe has outlined key sectors in which his government intends to implement both short term and long term plans to ignite development and transformation of the county. I met thousands of people across Kitui who indicated that one of their main reasons they would elect me was as a result of my track record during my tenure as a country's pioneer governor. Unfortunately, all the great things we achieved collectively were put on hold following the outcome of the 2017 general election. Owing to the stagnation and rollback in gains made in the initial five years of devolution, there is a lot of work to be done to ensure that the lost glory of our beloved county is restored. The vision and agenda for the development and transformation of our county seeks to progressively implement and deliver development for the people of Kitui to improve their livelihoods and living standards. It is also meant to realize our vision of being a prosperous county with vibrant and rural and urban economies whose people enjoy a high quality of life. Notably, Governor Malombe's trusted leadership has won the confidence of numerous national, regional and international development partners who are continuously streaming to Kitui to declare their readiness to work closely with his administration towards the realization of his transformative agenda for the residents. Going forward. So thank you um, for what I know has already been uh, a lot of time and effort. Uh, that your team has put into working with uh, our teams on our projects so that we can develop a new work plan in support of your, your county integrated development plan. And I want to commit to you that this is not a one-time uh, so, uh, effort. We look forward, you know, in the coming years. In agriculture, capacity building will be enhanced with intensive extension services to increase productivity, improve quality and profitability as the county commercializes farming activities. There will be intensive extension of agricultural services, the construction of 60 sand dams in every ward, that is a total of 2,400 for the entire county, water pans, machinery and support to farmers, two well-maintained and managed farm tractors for each ward, regular training of farmers on modern farming and agribusiness and the establishment of viable livestock trade trading centers in each ward twino tanu mwinge nundu wa kwete we mungeto wa mbe ni malombe ula watu athie ila wa kambeini yako ukwitu ni watu ie akatu aki ya mingeto tukethi ya na kitha angathicha kutaba kiwu ni kiku ukilia level with yetu na kiku kinge onala mena miunda yoma imete kuu maka kwa ata kiwu na tukaende ya nesa chambe ni ngu uwa ni na mwengo ni ndu wa muradi uu kwe kwa wawa mungeto ila uu kwe uu kumina na kwa kewa kiwu ni kiku kwethi hae chatha kato ndu hivi ndaina ya nabuwe tina Nere kibune ke no kake tunenge dhina ke dhimpaka na fruit itana but oh you need to go with my rondo 
Water is life, with uses spanning from industrial to domestic to irrigation, the county intends to maximize water harvesting and storage under the river sand through construction of sand dams. This will not only create a microclimate for the county but also raise the water table. Health is receiving its shot in the arm as medicines and non-pharmaceuticals are in constant supply and distribution to all health facilities across the county. Moreover, Dr. Malombe is keen to fast track uplifting of both Kitui and Mwingi level 4 hospitals to teaching and referral status besides upgrading to level 4 or sub county health facilities. I campaigned for a transformative, progressive agenda where I committed to elevate Mwingi level 4 hospital to a teaching and referral hospital which means bringing it to the level of five uh, category and slightly more. And to attain this status, an intensive care unit, or what we call ICU in short, will be constructed and the renal unit operationalized. Kisomo Nocho and positive ignition during the formulative stages sparks the potential for one to climb to unlimited intellectual heights. At the advent of devolution, ECDE and vocational training centers were devolved. During Dr. Malombe's first term in office, Kitui County had gained national recognition for various interventions and innovations. One of them was the ambitious pre-primary education master plan, modernized polytechnics, and state-of-the-art vocational centers and home crafts. I had to choose to be a mechanic pool, while both were electrical and mechanic. Because of the car gari, it was a good knock. It was a good knock, it was a good knock. The ECDE sector uptake saw so construction of over 1,500 ECDE classrooms and paying stipends to the ECDE teachers and these relieved parents of the heavy burden of paying fees for children enrolling in the preschool. Mwingi Town has been upgraded into a municipality, making two the number of such big urban centers in the county. This has spurred economic growth with improved facilities making it, making it conducive for investors. Kitui is very vast with poor road connectivity. Dr. Malombe is on race against time to open up the new roads, grade and maram existing ones with slabbing across seasonal rivers to make the county road network or weather. The governor has also initiated dustless towns through tamakin of seats in all major urban centers. With implementation of key sector infrastructure programs, Trade and investment will have a launching pad, making the Kitui County's six economic and investment zones more attractive to investors.
supporting growth of micro, small and medium enterprises is also integral in Governor Malombe's plan to make Kitui County a 24-hour economic hub with residents enjoying high-quality rural and urban life. Kitui hosts a myriad of tourist attractions. The Savo East National Park to the south, South Kitui Game Reserve, Zabani Rock, Eco Valley, Mumoni Hills, Kora National Park, among many others. Our society is inclusive, with Governor Malombe championing gender mainstreaming, where Bega Kobega Initiative intends to empower women socially, economically, and politically. I'm proud of the fact that Getui County has remained on the forefront in the initiation and implementation of programs which strive to empower women socially, economically, and even politically. With the world facing triple planetary crisis of disease, poverty and climate change, and biodiversity loss, the county and the Ministry of Environment is spearheading environmental conservation programs. This spans from regulating minerals and natural resource exploitation with sustainability being the goal, intending to shift from fossil powered economy to green energy alternatives. Employing over 20,000 youth in Kitui County, the Boda Boda sector is one of the fastest growing sectors whose framework, regulation and standards needs to be established in order to arnet its huge employment potential. In order to promote the era of e-government services, Kitui County will collaborate with the telecommunication service providers to increase mobile telephone connectivity from the current 83% to over 95%. This will not only open opportunities but also connect the county to the rest of the world with the youth expected to exploit various digital business opportunities. Security is key for human existence. The county government will install street lighting in the county's towns, market centers, and other public facilities. More so, the county is working in collaboration with the national government to set up eight police stations spread along the volatile Kitui Tana River border. This will enhance security patrol, deterring the infamous conflicts between the locals and camel herders. County yetu is prone to insecurity. Asa katika hile boda Kitui County in Ashia na Tana River. Tutaweka cut line kutoka apo, tukisaidiana na national government because mambo ya security ya under national government na lazima tufanya kazi na national government. In addition to the cut line, to Tajenga police stations.